what is up YouTube? Keith here from Cutlass Board Games back with another Marvel Snap Deck Tech video. This time, um, after buying Master Mold, I was kind of underwhelmed, which is really sad because I'm a big Ronin enjoyer. So I decided to come back and try and make something with an underloved character that I think needs more time to shine, and that is Shanna. So I've really liked a lot of Zoo in the past. Um, obviously, to get through Pool 1, I played almost exclusively Zoo. But then also, I played um, like a Bast Mysterio Bishop Zoo list for like ages. And now I'm kind of coming back to something because I really want to see Dazzler and Shanna together shining. Now, they kind of make the core of the deck. Um, Dazzler says you want to fill up every location. And Shanna says, I can do that for you. So Dazzler is like, if you have all of your board fields, you get extra power. Similar to Mojo, um, but instead of one lane, it's all lanes. Um, and then you have Shanna, which puts a one cost card in every location. And then you have Kazar, which says all of your one cost cards have more power. And, and then because all of these three key cards cost four, we play Zabu, which says how four cost cards cost one less. Um, so the deck building for this is like really straightforward. Uh, we then have Blue Marvel because we're planning on filling up all 12 spots every single game. So that means that Blue Marvel actually adds a lot of power to the game. Uh, and then we've kind of got like a zero package here with zero Titania and Ebony Moor. Um, but the other thing is that if you play Ebony Moor on a location that already has two things there, you can fill it with Shanna really easily. So it's like not really a big deal. Um, and we have like Psylocke, which is our second copy of Zabu. Um, to help us Dazzler and Kazer a little bit earlier and curve out a little bit smoother. And then just like other good one drops like uh, Sunspot and Ant-Man. Um, so I've been actually like really enjoying playing this a lot. Obviously you just like fold in half whenever somebody plays Killmonger, but Killmonger isn't that popular anymore. Like Cyrical, I haven't played against in ages and hasn't Killmongered me. The only deck that really plays it is like a Deadpool Destroy kind of thing, which was kind of rare, so I'm not really that worried about it. But Let's throw it in there. Let's see how it goes today. Oh, that's kind of big. I think I just slam blue marble. It's probably my best, best energy expense. I'm just getting Galactus here. <laughs> I guess we ride it out, but it seems bad for me. Quantum Tunnel? Well, all my key cards are in hand. So one of the things I could pull out is Ebony Maw, which isn't great. Or Titanium, which isn't great. <laughs> okay, I don't play Shang-Chi, so I'm not scared of armor. Alright, we hit zero, which kind of hurts if we don't rip something to be zeroed. That's pretty good. Do I keep it in? I think I keep it in. It does make me really mana inefficient this turn, but I don't want to zero one of my guys. That's also kind of a problem. It means I can't fill this. Unfortunately. Um, I might just play Kazar there. I might just be able to win the lanes rather than... Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to win this. So I have to figure out how I'm going to win this. Um, probably looks like playing Shanna. And Ant-Man or what? Yeah, I think drawing Ant-Man is the best rip here. Playing Shanna, playing Ant-Man. We'll see. We'll see. Turn 1 Infinite. Kind of hard to beat normally. I can also Sentinel, but I don't think I need to Sentinel. Okay, we didn't draw it. What I can do is this though. Because I stopped the Psylocke, so I can't play a Sentinel as well, but that's fine. I think this is an okay stay. Like, if they fill out this lane, trying to win this because they know they've won this, then I could just win on Mojo. Let's see what Shanna rips. Actually, oh. 
If Shanna hits Squirtle Girl, <laughs> if Shanna hits Squirtle Girl, Dazzle's like actually alive. Okay, it doesn't fill the location. Let's see if that hurts or not. Okay, the hood landed in exactly the right place. And then Titania went to exactly the right place. But Mojo got silenced. <laughs> oh no, what? Oh no! <laughs> oh! That's, that's awkward. I should have sequenced that correctly. I could have won. Uh, I could have won that. Should have played Mojo before Shanna. <laughs> oh. Let's pretend I won that. <laughs> Good. This is one of those decks I'm like actually okay with um, getting... Getting stuff added for free. Psylocke here. If it drops zero, I'm gonna be very upset. It's like the only card that wants a card play. Okay, good. Always lucky. That's really bad. But we win that lane because of Blue Marble. I think we can snap there. Also, I have this problem now. Again, really energy inefficient, but I can't play um, even more after this turn. But also, they can't be Killmongered. It's pretty good. I think this is better. Dazzle will never activate, so it's always four. I think Sunspot is like still four. Warpath. The Warpath doesn't activate. It's got Destroyer, so we could destroy it here. Which is 30 something and I don't win. Which could be rough. Pretty sure my opponent's a bot. Um, don't get to play Ant-Man, because I want to put the one power into the sunspot. But I think I just win here. Yeah, he blows up everything on the right. So I win the right, and I win the middle because of Blue Marble. It's a sick destroyer though. I've never seen anyone want to ink a fire pixel. <laughs> okay. Insert Spider Man meme. <laughs> this is fine. Hmm. Sort of problem. Um, I just have to go Zabu Ebony more next turn. That's a problem. Well, it's not really a big problem. It seems I can't play here. Oh, I can zero. Oh, oh shoot. Means I don't Zabu, which is kind of annoying. I think I still play it the same. I'm happy putting one energy onto Sunspot. Okay. So it's all going to move over to here. Okay, what do we get out of Jubilee? Ice Man. Oh, that kind of hurts. I think we just slam Shanna here then. We have Dazzler. So last turn, Dazzler Zabu doesn't get there. Because I can't activate Dazzler. So whatever I play is going to get punched left. I discard Dazzler anyway. Enchantress. Again? That hurts a little bit. I'm still in front on the right. And they can't play any hero mojo gets bigger. So I might Ant-Man in the middle. See how that goes. I feel kind of good about this. 
I mean, you could enchant just on the right to turn off Mojo and turn off Lizard and win that lane. Oh, that's a retreat. That is a retreat. Uh, tough sequencing also. Alright, what do we got here? I really don't want to play turn one Titania, but I can just kind of throw all my stuff out there, huh? That's kind of crazy. Elysium means you just play all your cards forever, um, which is kind of insane. Alright, let's get some Sentinels. We're definitely getting Dazzle off this game. You need to draw Ebony Boy like right now. That's fine. Give me the raft. Hmm. I feel like this, I'll get plus two Sentinels. We turn four and I can play everything here. That works. Okay. Ooh, discards hella. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm pretty okay with that. Really, probably not gonna play the Sentinels. I'd like to draw Blue Marvel or Dazzler here, or both. <laughs> not, not that one. Literally the least wanted one. Um, I think I have to leave a spot open so I can play something and pass. Not ideal. And then it's gonna be like She Hulk Dazzle, She Hulk Blue Marvel, or She Hulk Ant Man. This is the way it's looking. Plays Infinite. She Hulk Dazzler, it is. So I actually win middle. Um, which is kind of funny. Because Sunspot goes up to 12, which is 17. I'm going to 27. Um, on the right, it is 12. That doesn't change. Hmm. <sighs> Should have played Infinite to the right, knowing that I wasn't going to be changing the power of those things. And even if I played Blue Marvel, 16 isn't enough. So, what the hell? And you're so confident that I was going to win. Well, that's unfortunate. That is a really strange Shang-Chi to play, but I guess you just like have to throw it out, right? All right. That's unfortunate, but anyway. We have such a good state. <laughs> We had such a good state. But anyway, that is some Shanna gameplay. I think this is a really underrated card. I think it's a lot of fun to play with, especially because you can kind of fill up some unblocked locations for you. Um, before this, I made a version with Odin, just to Shanna extra times, and it was kind of silly, but this is like the version I'm, I'm really, really happy with, and really probably gonna grind a bit more, and maybe see if I can find a more polished more polished version of this list but um if you've been if you've been enjoying the marvel snap content i do make a bunch of this stuff on the channel i haven't been able to upload recently because i was out of state for a convention to show off my board game murders at seawards manor um so if you're curious about board games definitely go and check out some of that content 
or go and find some of the other Marvel Snap content. I'll have a playlist for Marvel Snap up here, and I'll have videos and other stuff for you to check out as well. And hit that like and subscribe button, because I really appreciate that stuff as well. And hopefully I'll have something new and cool to show off to you soon.